the air scoop. This will go underneath the uh, bike. Well, got the floor pan going. That's for reverse. And this is the air scoop. So I'm theorizing the faster I go, air will catch this and probably make this opening a little bigger, which will be good for high speeds. Again, just made out of Coroplast. And then I kind of have it shooting up toward the head. I made quite a few structures with um, Coroplast and zip ties. And I like it. It's cheap. Staying with the same material, doesn't rust, and they hold up for a long time. Looks cheesy, but I don't care. I know that they're going to hold up. And that's the main thing, right? So I'm adding a second layer on my little trap door here. This is my reverse door. And I'm going to add a little wooden handle and it should be good to go. So on my last trike, when I was making the rear cowling, I ran the flukes this way. I didn't think that uh, I can get a nice tight turn like this, but I applied heat on the rear section here, and I got a good tight radius. I like it. The beauty of this is now it is very strong. And uh, yeah, not only waterproof, oilproof, fuel-proof, Proof, proof, proof. Except for sun. It'll last for a few years in direct sunlight, but this will be garaged. I've had my campers out for 10 years and they're still fine. They're not brittling out, but I'm in the Northwest. I'm not unlike Arizona or New Mexico, but this is going to be good. Here's a piece that'll go in the back. License plate will go here, and then this is the tail. For a fold that has no crease, this is kind of what I do. Cut out a section, bend it, and it gives you a nice, tight, clean bend. Anyway, again, just prototype, but finally got this in, my Christmas present today. <laughs> and you just pop in these little pan head screws. They work pretty good. So now this is done, um, these will eventually be covered with white Gorilla Tape. It's tough stuff, sticks like a bear, about the same color as the Coroplast that'll be going on here. Right now these are just, um, not prototype, but pattern panels, and I'll um, now try this vehicle out with all the panels on here, the campaign sign panels. And then check out the durability, see how it handles, and if it's good, I'll just use these as patterns on the white chloroplast. So I always want to make sure that if it catches a fluid, it goes away from your part. Some of you might seem horrified by what I'm doing. I don't care. Clickos? Who needs stinking clinkos? Clickos. <laughs> Need a bunch of clamps. OK. 
Okay, Let's see how this turned out. So I'll be attaching Velcro on this, so I'll be able to uh, access this whole rear section by swinging these panels out from this hinge point. I think it'll work. <laughs> we'll see. This side panel is a little trickier than the other one. I need an access hole to be able to uh, turn this gas on and off, an access hole for the hot air that's going to be hopefully blowing out from the fan. The muffler. So I didn't want to create a huge hole in the chloroplast like that. I decided to put a aluminum uh, trim piece on there to kind of make it a little more aerodynamic. I thought I'd just show you the process that I had to go through, you know, to make that little piece. It's just stages you finally make patterns until you finally get it to where you want it, and then you cut it out. Okay, there's a pattern for my uh, wind thing. I still gotta wait about three days before it comes to me, but at least I got the pattern. I've got some plastic that I've had kicking around not sure if it came off of an old uh, cover for a poster or whatever. I'll use it as a mock-up, see how it works. Anyway, we'll play with this. Let's go see how it fits. So normally when you put on a plexiglass windscreen, you got to have like a rubber gasket for your mounting screws. And I was wondering what to do, but I realized I had these 20 year old uh, sheet metal screws with rubber gaskets for putting on a corrugated steel roof. Took off the washer and put them on my mounting screw and they're working pretty nice. They're green, but I don't care. <laughs> it's working. So it's easy enough to get in this rig currently, but it might prove to be a little more difficult getting out. <laughs> there we go. That's not too bad. Ah, I guess that's manageable. As I get older though, it ain't gonna be fun getting in and out. I would have liked to have gotten in here because it's a lot lower. Don't have to bring my feet up as high. <sighs> but then again, this was too low. I could bring this up. I would throw off the aerodynamics. Some of you may be wondering why I'm not going to use this acrylic bubble. It looks awesome. I agree, but um, it's a safety issue. Uh, because I decided not to enter through the windshield, mm, I decided instead to just be able to escape this thing if I roll over. I don't want to get out in a hurry because if there's a fire, <laughs> I don't want to be a burnt marshmallow. So if this were the ground and I'm upside down, that's about the attitude it would be at, like that. I'd have a hole that I could crawl out of here. Again, like I just showed you, it's not easy getting in and out of this thing, but that's the reason behind why it came up with what I came up with. Safety. I want to be able to walk away from this thing if there's an accident. And uh, that's paramount. The extra miles per gallon, yeah. <laughs> Need I say more? 
Right now I'm working on some uh, ventilation holes for the engine compartment to uh, help uh, release some of the heat that's going to build up while the engine is running. I've got the one big hole on the side where the fan is, but these are at the top part of uh, the engine compartment. Heat will be able to escape that way. I'm just about ready to give it a test run. Uh, that'll be fun. First big trike that I built, I put the body together and I never did try it out. I almost flipped the dang thing over trying to do a donut in the middle of an intersection. Got it at about 80 degrees off the ground. That was fun. Scared the crap out of me. Not beautiful, but I don't care. This is not a shiny red hot rod. I don't know what you'd call this. Just a mess. Cool mess, though. All right. Let's go try it out. Well, there she is. Drove it down here in the beach, drove it all around. It's kind of breezy right now, so it's a good test for the, uh, you know, how it's behaving in the wind. And it's not the best. I noticed I was having some bit of a problem uh, going straight. I have to like carve some of this off here in the back. Not sure. Um, we'll see. So yeah. I'm a gas tank flap here. Two little nails hold the door down. <laughs> but it does kind of store some fumes in there. I was thinking of closing this off permanently and then putting an opening here with a headrest. And uh, I don't know. It's not the best either with the. Um, Windscreen if you're driving in the sun, push you. But hopefully, the new um, Lexan that I'll get will be a little nicer. And uh, I'm gonna do a little sun visor and whatnot. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Hopefully, I'll have the thing completed next time you see this. Appreciate you staying tuned and watching this series. Take care. Bye bye.